yes so today i promised i was going to show you how to fold a flare a lot of people struggle with this i have students who struggle with folding the flare because it's not straight sometimes it can be really tricky to try to fold the edges so today i'm going to solve that problem and i'm going to show you how i fold my flare it's really simple all you need to do is pay attention and watch this video to the end so if you're new on my channel this is start with ufuma Omoluru. and what i do is make sewing look easy so do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my videos as they drop so let's get into today's class so we, last week we cut the flare and this week i want to show you how to fold your flare there are two options basically or three to what you can do with your flare the first is you can decide to fold the way it is but in that case it has to be a tiny fold now you can also decide to use your overlock machine to run the edges you know nicely and it can be a finishing on its own that is easy straightforward and you know okay but i always prefer folding then if you don't want to fold and you still find it tricky even after today's class what you can do is make sure it's fully lined so you want to line your flare that means you need to cut the, the lining exactly the same size as your main fabric. So you top, you sew round top stitch and you have a clean finishing. I forgot to mention, there's even a fourth way you can do this. You can try to use a bias trimming. So you can get a bias trimming. It could be cutting, it could be satin. And you can use that to also fold the bottom of your flare. So it depends on what you want or what you're going for. If you want the bias to be obvious, then you start sewing from the inside and you flip on the top. Then if you want it to be invincible, then you need to start sewing from the right side, right side to right side. Then you flip inwards and you sew again. So you need to do double stitching. So any of these methods works and they are perfectly all right. So now let me show you what you can do with your flare. If you don't want to align and you don't want to use a bias trimming and you don't want to use the overlocker machine to like finish the edges um, nicely so what you want to do is take your flare you're going to fold you don't fold too big because it's not straight you know this is like a flare that means it's, it stretches at the end so you want to fold like a quarter of an inch first then you fold over again another quarter of an inch so you can start from any point of the flare. So what you want to do is once that is folded, I'm going to fix that right under the sewing machine and we're going to start sewing. So when you're folding, take note, uh, note sorry, you don't want to sew too close to where you're going to fold. You want to give enough room from the beginning of the fold. So you fold a bit, not too much, at least something like about, um, four inches long to start to run the stitches so I folded and as you can see I just use my fingers to make it like flat okay so we're going to start sewing so you don't want to be in an east when you start folding now I stop then you come again and you try to fold pushing it down okay like that and you stop don't go too far because if you come too close to the point where you didn't fold it may become a bit cumbersome and difficult so i always recommend you stop at least two inches from the end of the fold i'm stopping again and i'll keep folding the same quarter over a quarter Make sure you keep it um, the same. Okay, so. So now I'm going to keep folding. So you just do it systematically. again so if you see this is the inside of the fabric so i'm folding from the outer part over the inner part so 
you just keep at it and make sure your fold is even. So you see, I don't go too near to the end. I give myself enough room to be able to fold.